Hi, it's Grant Abbott from Gabbett Media, and today we're making a low poly tree. Uh, the main reason for doing this is to learn about alpha channels and how we can use them for low poly texturing. So I'll quickly take you through how I made this tree. I'll do a little time lapse. Uh, quite simple, from a box, just extrude, uh, twist, uh, rotate randomly, and pull sections out. This tree, when it was completed, was about 150 faces. So once we've modelled our tree, uh, we need to add the branches, and we're going to do that with uh, one plane, um, or several planes, but one plane that's been um, unwrapped and had a branch texture added to it. So we'll go into this and we'll unwrap it. Just do a straight unwrap. Let's get up our UV editor. should have my branch loaded in. Okay, so here's my branch texture. You must make sure your texture has an alpha channel. So it's got a see-through background and that will come across uh, when we put it into our object and it will even affect the shadows that cast on the floor. So at this point I need to go to my node editor and assign a material to my branch give it a new material, actually I want to be in cycles, I prefer cycles. It won't make much difference when you go across to the game engine, um, but uh, for now I'll be in cycles. Okay, so here's my node setup. Um, I will need a mixed shader. Uh, my image texture. find my oak branch and a transparent texture. Oops, shade as well. There's my transparent shader. Okay. Never remember which way around now. Okay, let's put the um, image texture into the diffuse and see what it looks like first. Okay, so this is what it looks like. In fact, we want the branch coming this way, so we want to rotate the um, plane. And rotate it like that. And stick it out that way. And I probably want to make my um, plane a bit bigger. Make this big. So it looks like it's coming off this branch like that. Okay, but we can see an issue. Um, if we go to texture mode, in fact, um, I can make my planes a bit more rectangular, that'll make more sense when it's done. Let's um, scale it by the X. If I tap X or Y twice, it should... There we go, it's stretched a little bit weirdly, but that should be fine. Okay, so we've got it coming out of there. And we'll obviously create several of these, or about three or four, and then it'll give the illusion that they're coming out in different angles, depending on how you move around the tree. Uh, so, uh, what's the problem? The problem is I haven't got my alpha hooked up, and this is the bit that's important. You put your alpha into your um, factor, and we should, if we go to rendered mode, and I've put these the wrong way around, of course. That's typical, isn't it? There we go. The alpha is working nicely coming through there. Okay, so that's how you add an alpha channel um, into the factor and that will say um, use the alpha for the transparent. Okay, so let's go back into edit mode, duplicate this, uh, rotate it by the x axis, I think, something like that. Um, how's that looking? Can you get the idea of how you can create lots of branches? Let's go to texture mode so we can see where they're sticking out from. Uh, probably one more there. Okay, so I'll delete these ones over here. I decide not to use. So I've got three there. If I shift Z, go into texture mode, you can see you could move around the tree. I mean, it's not amazing. You'll do a better job with your artistic skills, I'm sure. Um, I'd like to move those in a little bit. Yeah, so you can see what's happening there. Okay, and then once 
so I'm happy with those. I can move those around and put them on other things as well, other areas. rough low poly tree but you can see how using alpha channels absolutely vital for texturing in this case I'll just mess around a little bit and make this look a bit nicer <laughs> 